Welcome to the Rum Pontoon, I'm Phil. I'm Julie. And we're living a lake life in Indiana. Heck yeah, we are. You may remember about a year ago, we got a series of rums for bourbon drinkers from our friends, Truth Spruce Firewater Reviews YouTube channel that you should check out if you haven't seen them yet. And this year, they did it again. They sent us five more rums that they think are good quality rums for sipping that bourbon drinkers might enjoy. We are gonna go through them now. We got this handy piece of paper right here that tells us exactly what we're drinking. We'll share that with you and we'll give our thoughts on each one of these. I'm excited, I love rums. And uh, we're on a, obviously a pontoon. Indiana, hot day. 90 degrees. It's time to drink some rum. Let's do this. Here we go. This is Dooley's 12 year Barbados rum by Foursquare. This is the 80 proof. So let's go. This is the lowest proof that we'll see today. Cheers. Cheers, y'all. Smells like vacation. Sure and it's does. not just because I have 50 uh, SPF on right now. <laughs> this smells a little bit like bananas. Oh, you're already sipping. Okay, I'll get into it too. Ooh, that's really different. It does have a tinge of uh, bourbon in it, I think. Yeah, I wonder what this is aged in, cask wise. It almost, this is crazy, but it has a little bit of that potpourri that I would get from a finished whiskey, which is why I said it, but I've, obviously this is a rum. You're right, it's, a, it's almost like a vanilla, banana, desserty thing, a creme brulee maybe, something mm -hmm. like that. A lot of brown sugar here, which you would expect, of mm -hmm. course. Quite good. This is interesting, it smells like a tropical vacation, but it doesn't taste like a tropical vacation. It is actually quite different on the palate than it is on the nose. And I'll say for an 80 proofer, mm. very satisfying. For me, it's a little dry, so I was mm -hmm. expecting this to be very sweet. Yeah, a little limestone there. It mm -hmm. is a little bit bourbon-like, so um, mission accomplished on rum number one from Truth Spruce Firewater Reviews. Appleton Estate 15-year 86 proof. We're going, yeah, from low proof to high proof. Why burn out your taste buds when you can just enjoy something comfortably? Yeah, you can sizzle them off like my skin <laughs> right now in the sun. Ooh. So Appleton Estate, I remember the last time we did this, we had a different version of this, and I remember it being funky, but really tasty. It smells funky. So there's a funk to this. It's almost like a- There's a nail polishiness to this one. I'm getting like an overripe pear. There is some apple on here too. So I am getting some flavor notes, not just astringency, I guess. Okay, here we go. Holy smokes. I got a healthy sip of that one. I don't know if you took a big gulp too. This isn't my favorite, I'm gonna say. <laughs> This is funky. This is so different. I guess I'm just thinking that they should be, you know, the Caribbean or something like that and be tropical and pineapple-y and coconut-y, but these are all very different than there's that. A, it's like the complete opposite of that. There's a sweet and spicy note here though. There's, yes. a, there's a little more balance. There's even a little bitterness contributed, I assume, by that 15 year age statement. And I know rums are, the age statements run a little bit differently than yeah. bourbon. I don't have the specifics, but there's a depth of flavor here that we were, that we didn't really get on the last one. Mm -hmm. You could spend some time with this one. We're, we're just tasting these quickly today, but I'm guessing that this one, if you spent a little time, you'd find some different tasting notes and it could be very unique. I'm not really sure what to do with this one. These flavor notes are out of my grasp right now. I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> Appleton Estate, 15 year, 86 mm -hmm. proof. Rums for bourbon drinkers, maybe this one doesn't foot the bill just yeah. perfectly. Uh, we liked the Dooley's 12 years so far. Uh, as a bourbon drinker's delight, a little bit better. So let's move on to the next one. Yeah, very different. Very different. So now we're moving on to number three, Boone County Dappy Rum aged in bourbon barrels, 88 proof. This should be a little bit more in line with what we're <laughs> used to drinking, I think. Oh, this one smells caramel, yeah. vanilla, brown sugar, what you would expect. The previous one, and I wasn't very eloquent on that, but it almost uh, tasted a bit musty, I think, I remember. It could be from the aging from the AG, that sounds right. Let's check this one out. Hmm. Nice tickle of the tongue on this one. Gosh, this is so different than what we normally drink. Mm -hmm. I like the aroma better on this one than I yeah. like the flavor. I can see that there's something to like here though. Maybe run a lime around the rim, mm -hmm. I, I think I would like that. Here's what I just realized now that we're three in. Sure. Is that I need to stop thinking about these like they're bourbon. Yeah because it's not, it's rum. And so these are sipping rums, so they shouldn't taste like bourbon. And I think that's what I keep expecting, them to have some sort of bourbon quality, though this is in bourbon barrels. There's some bourbon to this, but it's really more of the aroma than the palate. Right, and I, as I'm thinking it through that new lens, I can see how this would be an enjoyable sip. Sure. It's so different. It does not taste like rum to me at all, though, I mean, my rum knowledge is poor. <laughs> I would say that this is sort of a, a typical rum 
there's a little coconut happening mm -hmm. here. But I will say that this one makes me crave fresh citrus. I want a lime mm -hmm. on this. I want uh, maybe an orange or something like that. I want. You do want something that brightens us up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little fruit juice or a zest or something like that. Usually mm -hmm. I like my liquor neat, but mm -hmm. in this case, I think that it would be enhanced by a little bit of fresh citrus. Yeah, this uh, I would I would put in number two of the three that we've had so far. I would agree with that. Plantation Trinidad 2009 Asian Willet Rye Barrels. I am excited about this one. 103.6 proof, so we only have one that's higher proof than this. It smells like a rum. This is the first one besides the the very first one we tried that actually smells like a rum. There's there's a lot to like here. This actually has a Willet nose to it. The same things that we get, the leather, the lemon zest, the- uh, A little bit tea quality. The tea, yeah. There's but a, like an herbal tea. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a really familiar nose here from that Willet barrel. That's super interesting. I think I'm gonna like this one. Let's give it a shot. Cheers. Man, that was, oh. the nose and the palate stays so different on all of these. Oh, there's a tobacco there's on this. There's a tobacco on this, wow. exactly. I was gonna say leather, but then as soon as you said tobacco, I was like, that's what it yes. is. Yes, oh, it's almost like charcoal. Holy wow. cow. Wow, it's crazy different this, than those. This has a meatiness to it. This almost reminds me of a scotch. This is a wild drink. This is a super surprising rum. I actually think this is my favorite one just because it's so crazy. There's a gigantic character here. You've got Willet stuff on the nose. You've got rum. This one's making me on smile. On the palate, you've got scotch on the finish. <laughs> There's a whole lot happening here. I I am excited about this one. I don't this one is fun. That's skyrocketed uh, into the number one spot. Absolutely outstanding. This is delicious. And at 103.6 proof, I think it drinks at its proof. It's not yeah. overly overly hot. It's not super spicy. Just tons of flavor. I think I've only had one sip and I'm just sitting here enjoying oh, no, the I, heck out of it. I finished. Look mine. at you, you yeah. plowed through that one. It is so different. And there is such a nice lemony quality that kind of cools off the drink a little bit because there's some aggressive flavors in this. Huge nose, huge yeah. palate, massive finish, tons to like right here. This is, ooh, the longer you sit with that finish and the sort of scotch notes come through, the meatiness comes through. I like this one. Wow. I'm okay. happy. This one makes me happy. I like this one. Well, this is fantastic. I'm gonna save this glass for later. That's absolutely delicious. Well, I don't know if it's a great rum for bourbon drinkers, Something about this seems like a great rum for scotch drinkers. And uh, yeah, two thumbs up. That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, last but not least, Foursquare, 2009, 12 years, Ooh. 120 proof. So we are ramping up here. We are. Based on what we've experienced and what we know about Foursquare, I am expecting this one to be our favorite, but it's gonna have to really work to go over the top of what we just sipped. That was fantastic. I liked that one with the Willet Rye barrels. That was dynamite. There was so much happening there. Well, here we go, 120 proof, four square 2009. Lots oh, of coconut in there. Yeah, it smells like, it's got the four square pedigree. It smells yeah. like a, the rum that you're expecting, the party in a glass. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, oh cheers. Ooh, 120 proof, that kicked in. But the thing is, the way that it finishes, mm. very laid back, very easy going, very easy to sip and enjoy the flavors of, what's coming through wow. is just brown sugar, coconut, mm -hmm. a little bit of almost a mint leaf in there, yeah. maybe even a lime zest. It's like a cocktail in a glass. This isn't gonna sound like a great plus for this, but it was delicious that I drank it and then I, kind of forgot about it. I know that sounds bad, but the flavors were so easy to drink and so easy to take in that all of a sudden I was like, oh, I'm supposed to think about flavor notes, yeah. but I just enjoyed the sip. Yeah, it's really flavorful, but it's not imposing. There's a lot to like here and we're not super surprised. That's four square. Every time we've had it, we've yeah. liked it. All right, so we have tasted all five of these today. Which are your favorites? I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I loved the one we just had before in the Willet Rye casks. Plantation Trinidad 2009 aged in Willet Rye barrels, 103.6 proof. Completely agree, that's my favorite today. I know, I thought it was just so interesting and different. If I was thinking about rums that I wanna sip, that is a rum that I wanna sip. Absolutely huge, unexpected flavors, absolutely fantastic. I think the four square 2009, 12 years at 120 proof, no surprise, the two highest proofs yeah. won out for us. We're not always proof hounds, but when it comes to rum, we find bigger flavors with bigger proof, and that followed today. So what'd you think about the 80 proof, or the very first one that we tried? Surprisingly, it's my third favorite, Yeah. even though it's the lowest proof. Dourley's 12-year Barbados rum by Foursquare. 
just brought fantastic flavors, nice zipper, nice way to start. So thanks for joining us for something different today. We hope you enjoyed the ride and didn't Woo! get too seasick <laughs> from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers, guys. I like the rum pontoon. It's great. <laughs>